Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast. I'm Kelly Thomas, the Crochet Profit Queen, and I'm going to show you how you can make a living from your crochet while avoiding the burnout and being able to make what you want and when you want. Have you signed up to the Crochet Business School newsletter yet? Don't forget to do that now at crochetbusinessschool.com forward slash subscribe and get tips and free resources straight to your inbox. When should you get a website for your crochet? So having a website is a great thing. It can make you look like a more professional business. It kind of gives you authority over anyone who just has a social media presence. It looks better than, say, an Etsy shop because you can customize it and make it your own and really have an awful lot more information on there than you could get on any other site. However, a lot of people think that having a website is this magic bullet that's going to increase your sales and be this profit-making thing automatically. And that's a very wrong way of thinking because a website that is not done well can have a very negative impact on your business and can actually decrease your sales and make you look like you don't have a clue what you're doing. If you don't do it properly, then a bad website is worse than no website. So what's going on with this? When we go onto websites, we expect them to look finished, complete, that look, you know, that look really good and have good graphics, have good loading speeds and give us all the information that we want, make it easy to buy and generally just have a really nice polished professional feel. Because when we go onto the websites of the of the big names, I mean, even just like Amazon, Etsy as a whole, um, our local supermarket sites to do online shopping, the high street shops, they all have very nice, easy to interface websites. And we kind of expect the same, no matter how big the brand is that we are going to. That's what people expect. And so when you have a scrappy looking site that isn't up to these standards, it looks low quality, low tech, like, well, it's just not up to spec and we can spot these a mile off. And it can make us think, well, maybe these aren't as reliable or as trustworthy as the big brand names, because it doesn't look like a proper website. And even if you don't consciously think that, there is that thing going in the back of your head. So a website that isn't up to scratch can damage you. If you do not have the time or the money to invest in a website, it's better to stick with social media or third-party sites like Etsy until you do. Because a website is not a magic bullet. Having one is not going to automatically increase your sales. If you are finding that social media or Etsy um, or Shopify is not working for you, having a website is not going to change that. If you cannot get these sites to work for you, you are not going to get a website to work for you. There's no point. Websites cost money and they take time. So if you're not going to look after your website yourself and you're going to pay someone to do that for you, it's a massive investment. That costs a lot. We're talking thousands of pounds a year to do that. If you're going to do it yourself, you're talking a big learning curve and how to learn to do it yourself. I know I've built two websites of my own. Well, three, really, because I've had to rebrand my original one. So I've done this several times. 
I know how much time it takes to get a website up and running. I know how much time it takes to maintain it. It's no small thing. It can have a massive impact on your profits, both positively and negatively, if you don't get it right. But if you do it well, it's a great thing. It will bring you more traffic. It will bring you more sales. It will increase the trust factor. But you've got to get it right. And if you don't, it can have a negative impact, both in your brand authority, and that is how much people trust you when they land on your site. And yeah, it can have a negative impact on your finances, because if this thing that you are paying for, and you do have to pay for a website that you can shop on, there's no way around that, that's going to cost. If it's not bringing in the sales to pay for itself, or not generating income through ads or affiliate links, then it's just a money pit and you're going to end up sinking money into it and getting nothing out. So you're going to have to think carefully about if a website is right for you right now. Is it something that's on your wish list for later when you have the time or the money to invest in it? If you cannot get sales on social media, or on sites like Etsy or Shopify, you're definitely not going to make a website work because Etsy and Shopify work the same way that a website does. You've got to get your keywords right. If you cannot persuade people to click because either the keywords aren't getting you found in search results or your pictures are low quality and are not persuading people to click, those problems I'm just going to transfer over to a website. Get your social media or your Etsy or third-party site working for you before you go to a website because they work the same way. You need the same messaging. And if you're going to transfer the problems from one to the other, it's, it's just going to cost you money. It's going to cost you time. And it's going to cause an awful lot of frustration. A website is not a magic key to getting more sales and can actually damage you really badly if you get it wrong. So if you're thinking about setting up a website to sell your crochet or make money from your crochet through patterns, blogs, courses, whatever it is that you want a website for, stop and seriously ask yourself, do you have the time to put into it? Do you have the money to invest in it? And are you making money from other channels first? Because using the third-party sites is a great way of practicing, of getting your messaging right, getting your pictures and the information loaded that your customers need to buy without the time and money investment their website needs. If you are making your Shopify or Etsy site work for you, great. You can transfer what you know from them over to a website and you will see good profit because it's the same type of system. If you can sell on them, you can sell on a website. But if your social media or your third party site is not doing its job, if it's not bringing in those profits, a website is not going to help you. You've got to get the basics right first because websites need a whole stepping up game. It's, you, you, yeah, it's a lot. It's a massive learning curve. And if you're not going to pay someone to do it for you, then you have to learn to do it yourself. And that takes a lot of time. I had to invest in a course to do that. And that course cost me hundreds of pounds. Did it do the job? Absolutely. I would never have been able to design my sites the way I did without that course, but I had to invest the time and money to learn how to do it. And if you don't have any um, background in building websites, then you're going to need to do the same. So really do think carefully before you go down the website route. You're going to need to get it right because get it wrong and it can be 
disastrous, really. So I hope that's given you a few things to think about. And as always, any questions, please do come over to our Facebook community. It is there for you to use and ask questions and get advice. You can join us with the link in the show notes. So thank you for listening, and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.